Hey guys, today I'm bringing you an app that allows you to control access to your phone. Let's check it out. This episode of XDA Developer TV is brought to you by the XDA DevCon. Join us August 9th through 11th in Miami, Florida, a conference for developers by developers. More information available at www.xda-devcon.com. Samantha posted an article on the XDA portal referencing an application developed by XDA forum member HiApp. The app is called HiApp Lock, a tool that allows you to securely put a pin access code to different settings within your Android device as well as different applications and make sure that only people with the right code can actually access it. If we open up the thread, we'll notice there's a small explanation as far as why people would need this application. Also, some of the features that the developer feels that we need to know. There's also a link at the bottom of the list providing us access to the Google Play Store. The version of the application that we're previewing today is the free version. It's sized at 638 kilobytes. It's, as I mentioned, free, supports Android 2.1 and up, and the current running version is 1.6 in the Google Play Store. Uh, the, there's three additional features that we'll be able to cover today uh, purely because we're able to have, we have a 15-day trial period on that. Uh, and I'll explain in the application. We'll open up the application in the Google Play Store. Look for High App Lock by High App Team. This is the uh, free version again. Let's go ahead and check it out. We'll open up the application itself. You go through and you have the option of turning on the application, auto starting it, and showing the icon in the, the status bar. I turn it off by set. Um, it'll ask you to set up a, a new uh, password as well as a, a, a question for the security qu uh, options. So you can go under se security questions like that and change it if you want. I've already gone through this process. Um, after that, pretty much as a simple application, you're in the settings. Uh, by default, you have all, automatically all the options right here. The premium version has three additional settings that are not available, obviously. It's the uh, ability to hide the application out of your uh, system app tray. Um, as well as adding a fake error message as far uh, when you hit the application to turn it on. Um, a random keyboard, we'll go through down to the bottom. Uh, he has uh, auto check password, uh, relock after you know screen is on, high lock, uh, make sure that the service is always running, checking for updates and auto checking for updates. I find that um, these things can be taken care of by the Google Play Store, so not a big issue here. It does use, and it looks like it's using a holo theme, but you can't swipe between screens, so you have to actually tap through. Um, the main thing you want to go through initially is you'll have a list of all your applications, your basic apps uh, functionality are on top, so your settings, the ability to install or uninstall, Google Play Store access, calls, contacts, messages, all of those are on top. I have those, all of those checked. Um, I've also chosen to uh, lock my mail, my banking applications, my chatting applications, as well as my Flipboard so that my son doesn't have the ability to you know, mess with all of these settings. Uh, the only last thing that we have here is more, which essentially is for sharing. Um, also, quick tip, if you want to be able to try or at least have a 15-day trial version of the premium features on HiApp, um, share the application using the share button under the more options and you'll get a 15-day free trial. And that's one of the reasons why I'm able to check the fake error message and the random keyboard message. Other than that, the other thing you can do also is provide it provides you access to a widget that you're able to put on your home screen. Now, the beauty of this is you can turn off the service for when you want to use it, and so none of the passwords are set. Um, and then if you do want to turn it on by simple pressing the lock, your phone just got locked. And, um, you know, basically, if you go into the App Store, everything still looks the same. You go home, but I want to access the Google Play Store. Now I'm getting this random message, uh, making it look like the Google Play Store crashed. Uh, the by obviously the answer uh, is to press and hold the OK. Then you get the option of putting in the password. The random keyboard, which is the nice thing about it, is uh, you have to actually look at what you're typing. So in this situation, I've set one two three four. So one two three four is the password that automatically unlocks, gets me back into the application. Uh, where people sometimes can see over your shoulder, and you know if you're putting one two three four, and they're like, oh, I know what the password is. So this prevents it and gives you the ability to control it very nicely. Um, when you exit the application trying to go back into it, it does the same thing. If you just press OK, which is what most people would do, it just gets you out. Overall, very nice application. It works very well. Um, as mentioned, you know, it goes in for the dialer, messages, and specific applications. So if we go into the uh, directly into our drawer, and I actually remember I locked my Hangouts. So I click Hangouts, gives me the error message. So it's very nice, very secure, simple, small. Um, definitely the developer is listening and will uh, will include a lot of your uh, options. So check it out and let me know what you think.
What I saw today was an application that runs very nice. Uh, the benefits of the application, it's simple in design, does the job very well as far as limiting the access to the applications and then the settings. As far as some of the other options available uh, in there, the premium version does give you the option to have that random keyboard. I find that very particularly helpful for a lot of times when you put in passwords on your phone, a lot of people lock our phones and so on, but you're still unlocking them in a public setting. So you're going in, you're unlocking, and there's a good chance somebody is probably going to see you trying to put in the, the code and they might be able to figure it out depending on how complex your code is. Um, I find that the option to have a random keyboard is very nice. Now it is part of the premium version, which you can try out for 15 days like I showed you in the demo. Um, the One of the downside things that I notice on the, uh, on the application itself currently is um, if you go into the Play Store by putting in the password, let's say you're giving your phone to somebody that wants to check out your, uh, your phone and they're saying, well, let me see, is the Play Store as good as some of those other apps, things, stores that we're not going to mention here? Um, and you give them access to it, they have access to your applications. They'll be able to go in and just check out, install, uninstall, and do things with, you know, with ease. And I find that, that since it was checked off as two separate options in the application itself to, uh, to monitor and put a password on installing and uninstalling, it should be the same inside the Google Play Store. So that's one thing. Uh, the other thing is the ability to have more than just a, uh, a pin unlock code. I find that, you know, that will be a little bit more helpful for some people that want to put in a pattern or some of the other things. It's not too much of a con on that one. It's more of, you know, it makes it more accessible. I think it'll, it'll bring in more people that want to try it out. I like the application from the standpoint of simplicity, small file size. A lot of the other applications on the market are either around the two, the three megabyte file. The premium version does provide some extra options that are nice. So if you want to check it out for $1.97, it's not that bad. Let me know what you guys think. Leave some comments. Um, I'll provide links to access the information below the video. Uh, please make sure to check out my channel. And uh, also, uh, if you're going to DEF CON, please definitely check out the information in the description. Uh, let me know what you think. Like and subscribe for this channel. And please like and subscribe for my channel. And I will see you guys next week.